Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with meteorologist Bill Alexander. Hey, good evening, folks. It turned out to be a gorgeous, almost summer-like day across the coastal bend with the mercury going well into the 90s in the interior and nearly 90 along the coastline. Speaking of the coastline, Rockport sitting at 79 degrees right now, a southeast wind 11 miles an hour, mostly cloudy skies, and that's what you've got here locally in downtown Corpus Christi. 80 degrees, southeast 14, lots of clouds and humidity out there. We did make it up to 94 degrees today, morning low of 71. That 94, only two degrees off the record set 20 years ago. We were pretty gusty today with a peak wind at 25 miles an hour. A little over four inches of rain in deficit right now. Well, see if we can make up for some of that. Here are your lows today. Uh, in lower to middle 70s in the interior, nearly 80 degrees along the coastline, but it was a scorcher this afternoon, climbing into the middle, even upper 90s in the interior. Nearly 90 along the coast, Port A coming in at 85 degrees. Now here is the satellite radar loop, and is what we're showing you there. That's the front there. Uh, extending along the coastal plains down towards, oh, say about Pleasanton or so. But it's working its way south and eastward, and as it does so, it's going to run into that deep layer moisture we got along the coastline. and It'll fire up showers and thunderstorms that will be continuing much of tomorrow. Now, here's what's happening temperature-wise. It's down to 51 degrees in Amarillo, 55 in Lubbock. As you go further south into the 60s, all the way down into the hill country. So we are seeing that cooling trend coming up, and it's one that we're going to be living with tomorrow and into early Saturday. Right now, the mercury, though, hovering upper 70s to lower 80s, and the humidity is something else again. Those dew points in the middle 70s, almost area-wide. So even at this hour, we're looking at heat index values, nearly 90 degrees in some places. So it's warm and stuffy out there. But here's the change. We've got that front coming through, and that's an initial line of showers, a few thunderstorms. And then behind it, because the moisture rising up over the cool air, that's overrunning, it becomes unstable, and you've got showers and thunderstorms well behind the front that will be the better part of Friday afternoon before they all clear. So it's going to be a, a showery, windy, and cool day for your day tomorrow. Now, this is why the front came through with a big upper trough moving through. But notice that west to east flow this weekend. It's going to give us generally fair skies and a slow warming trend. By early next week, another disturbance moves into range, and that's going to provide enough instability in the atmosphere with the moisture already in place to give us isolated, perhaps even scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, here's what we have going on as far as rainfall totals, and it depends on where you are. If you're really fortunate, you're going to get a pretty good dousing. Um, it could be as much as an uh, inch, inch and a half, or even two or three inches out in the brush country. Overnight tonight, we'll see that wind shift to about 1 or 2 a.m., depending on where you are. Temperature continuing to fall. And then we're going to see the mercury struggling to get back to 70 degrees tomorrow. But it will get warmer and drier over the weekend. More showers and warm next week. We'll be back with more news after the break.